Hello guys, my name is Sergey. I'm a freediving instructor trainer and on this channel I'm sharing with all of you everything what I know about freediving. So if you're first time here, subscribe to this channel because you're gonna have a lot of useful information which is gonna help you to become better and safer freediver. And today is gonna be short but important topic which is recovery breathing. So what is a recovery breathing for those of you who don't know? It is the type of breathing which we do at the end of our breath hold. So as you probably know, we do relaxation breathing before the breath hold, then the breath hold itself, and then at the end we do recovery breathing. So there is a few variations how to do recovery breathing and the most common two is with hook breathing or without hook breathing. So what does it mean? So I will show you with the hook. So it is a full inhale, hold for a second, passively exhale. One more time. So this is the hook breathing. And without it, more simple, full inhale, passive exhale. So it looks the same, more or less the same. However, some people advocate uh, that it should be with the hook or some people saying it's not necessary. What is my opinion? I prefer to do it with the hook breathing. Why? Because this is how I learned, uh, like when I was doing my freediving courses, back to those times, the idea was that you have to do hook, uh, like hook breathing. And this is how I learned, so it's becoming kind of second nature for me and this is why I don't see any reason why I should change. However, there are some people who don't do uh, like that obvious hook breathing, so they just quickly inhale fully and then passively exhale. There are some more variations, but this is the two most common. The most important part that you have to do recovery breathing at the end of your breath hold. And again, some free divers or maybe majority of the free divers thinking okay when it's going to be a difficult breath hold when it's going to be breath hold near my maximum and then I'm going to do my recovery breathing but if it's going to be like easy breath hold then I don't really need it and this is a guys a mistake why because especially if you're a beginner or intermediate free diver you want to create certain habits you want to create certain good habits and put it on your subconscious level Every time when you do a breath hold, it doesn't matter, it's 10% from your maximum, 20% from your maximum, or 90% from your maximum. Every time when you come up, whether it's dynamic, static, or the ocean, you come up and you do your recovery breathing. You don't interrupt on anything else. You don't come up and start talking about your dive. You don't come up and start adjusting your mask. No, you come up, grab something, if it is the ocean, grab the buoy. If it is a static, grab the side of the pool. Do your recovery and after that discuss something. Don't be really in a rush in a, a way while you're doing your recovery breathing. It is not competition. There is no surface protocol. Just be focused on your recovery breathing. And the reason why I'm making this video, because even on my even with my, like my students on a master level, sometimes like, let's say for example, my master student asked me to put the line for 30 meters and he dived to 25, he did the turn early, he come up and start explaining why he turned early. He come up like, oh, something is not good with my equalization. No, you don't come up with explanations. You come up with a recovery. So same even more often happens in the pool. Let's say free diver, uh, is planning to do, I don't know, like 60 meters and then she come up after 40 and start explaining like, oh, I have a, like too many contractions, this is why I give up. No, don't ruin end of your dive. Like, okay, if something went wrong during your dive, maybe at the beginning, maybe equalization is not working if it is an ocean or maybe contraction starts too early if it is a pool. Okay, no problem, forget about this. Finish your dive with a good solid recovery and only after that discuss with your instructor or with your body what went wrong and how to change it in the future. Okay guys, this is my message to you if you're a beginner or intermediate free diver. Do recovery breathing every single time when you do a breath hold. Again, like I said, doesn't matter how long it is, how challengeable it is. You finish your dive always with recovery 
and after that you can adjust your equipment you can talk with your body etc etc so guys hopefully this topic was useful for you even if it is pretty obvious topic and if you uh, like this video don't forget to click the like button and i will see you next time